Some very rare items from the McClatchy collection is going up for auction. And earlier this morning, Lori Wallace learned all about the amazing treasures that could be yours. We've been hanging out, getting a sneak peek at TK McClatchy's estate, all the items that have been inside since 1987. The estate has been untouched. So all of these pieces are coming out now, and we're getting a really fun look at some of these interesting items. And uh, Brian, I held on to this one uh, from earlier this morning because the cover of uh, your little uh, brochure right now has a unique picture, and you actually have the original here with you today. I think this is... Uh... Perfect for C.K. McClatchy. This is who was editor of the Sacramento Bee up until 1987 when he passed. This is the election night invitation for Mondale and Reagan done by Andy Warhol. That is really cool. How much is that going for? It's about 2500 to 5000 Okay, now you have this whole table filled with some different items. Some are from C.K. McClatchy's estate. Some are not. Take us through what you, what you have out here. Sure. Um, we have everything from silver to gold to jewelry to rare items like a Napoleon Bonaparte document along with his personal spoon. Well, one of four known. So an interesting piece. These how are, much? Got to ask how much. Uh, this is, Probably this package is about $2,500. Okay. Uh, there's also a collection of 19th century California firearms. Uh, these are all antique, including this little Derringer. This is the same gun that killed, it's not the same gun, same model of gun that, that assassinated Lincoln. This one's agent marked in San Francisco, and it's a gold rush era weapon. Um, another really cool thing, this is not from McClatchy, but this was discovered at the Sacramento filming of the Antiques Roadshow last summer. I guess it was a year ago last summer. And uh, I met the lady at a KVIE event who came up to me and said, God, I think I kind of want to get rid of that. So she, she brought it down the other day. Interesting, a two-sided sign. So it just sort of shows how they would go about, you know, they didn't, they didn't think that this was going to be a relic of, of interest in, in 2020 when they did it. But this is for Seals Stadium prior to the Giants coming to San Francisco. That is so cool. And for baseball fans, it doesn't get better than having something like that hanging up in the garage. How much is that going for? Uh, 2500 to 5000 Okay, and then lastly, let's get a look at this giant art piece here. Tell me about this. There's Peter Vandenberg. He's a, pardon me, he's a local artist uh, noted for these kind of, whimsical um, bust figures of faces primarily. This is an extra large one and they come in variations with different polychrome finishes and so forth. And he's in all of our local museums. Okay, how much is that going for? Uh, I think it's $2,500. All right, but people can find out by jumping online or you can help them out if they give you a call. If anyone saw anything here today that interested them, what should they do? Well, we were internet ready before COVID hit, so if you go to witherells.com, everything is very simple and you can do it remotely. If you don't want to come out and smoke, if you want to come and see some, call the office and we'll make an appointment with you. All right, you were all set and ready to go. Some really cool stuff, guys. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Right on. Yeah, baseball sign. I was going to say it was calling your name, huh? Calling my it's name. Sign. Woo. Okay. All right.